What's up guys this is Sonny back with another video and today I have a budget Ryzen torch for you guys now I know most of you out there you like to have like a gaming PC and also a hacking torch the reason why I'm saying because I'm same way I like to play around with Xcode while you know I'm playing with like the program and everything and same time I like to play game also so I want basically best of the both world and same time I want the best bang for my money so today's video basically i try to build this ryzen torch for under 500 dollars now mind you i use most of the used parts in this build and you guys can pick up all these parts from amazon or new egg i will leave link in the video description now i will make sure i will leave link for uh like a two link one for the hardware i use and one basically uh you know cheaper hardware so you can pick up and maybe build this pc brand new for like maybe somewhere 400 or 450 dollar so the cpu i went with this build uh ryzen 2200g uh it's a great cpu it's quad core uh four core with four thread and also does come with the integrated graphics now i do not recommend you guys using this cpu with the integrated graphics it's so hard to configure i tried to do it i couldn't uh maybe i can but it will take me a couple days and i don't have time so that's the reason i would recommend you guys to go and maybe pick up a rx 570 because you can pick up one from new brand new right now 149 dollar but overall guys this CPU is a great CPU for Hackintosh user, also for gamers. Now the motherboard I went with, just cause I had the motherboard laying around, uh, Viostar X370 GTN ITX motherboard. Now you guys might be thinking, I have an ATX case, why did I put ITX motherboard? Uh, <laughs> the reason I'm using this ATX case, cause that's the only case I have here. Uh, but I would recommend you guys uh, get something cheaper because this motherboard is going for around, I believe, $80, $85. So, so don't go for this motherboard. If you get a good deal, if you get an open box one from maybe uh, Newegg or maybe even Now, uh, the RAM, also I had this RAM uh, laying around, guys. So the RAM, uh, I know you guys always watch me use this RAM because uh, I'm in budget and uh, I only have these RAMs uh, you know these are my extra RAMs so uh, these are basically Corsair Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz RAMs and uh, I always use these um, I use uh, these are two four gigs I had so I always use in like most of my builds so the system have like eight gigs and I think eight gigs more than enough uh, for everyday use now the graphics card guys uh, you guys can see right here so long story short uh, i don't recommend you guys to pick up a rx 580 unless you get a good deal i would recommend you guys pick up like a brand new rx 570 from newegg you can, or like amazon you can pick up for 149 dollar you don't have to buy like uh use one from the miners but i had this card laying around it's a hundred dollar rx 580 the reason i'm saying 100 i picked it up for 40 dollar and i put like another 50 or 60 dollar cooler so it cost me a hundred dollar and uh that's the reason i wouldn't recommend just get a brand new one rx uh 570 you can pick up one for like 140 149 and uh you will have like a peace of mind you don't have to worry about uh, getting one from miners other than that guys uh the system is running flawlessly right now everything working uh so the uh, I use Xcode. Xcode is working perfectly fine. Uh, I use uh, iMovie. iMovie works perfectly fine. Uh, I also test uh, DaVinci uh, Resolve uh, for video editing. Works uh, really good. So if you guys are planning on uh, building a uh, you know Ryzen Tosh, you know, Hackintosh running Mac OS Sierra and you are thinking you can use Intel QuickSync then uh, you don't have to use iMovie you can just download free version of DaVinci Resolve and then you can just render with OpenCL uh, uh, OpenCL OpenGL and uh, you can uh, render using your graphics card and trust me uh, works good and uh, DaVinci have a lot more option than iMovie so Let's just jump in and let me show you guys uh, 
you know how everything um, the first thing i like to play around with every day uh that's xcode so you guys can see xcode right here let me just open something in xcode now i don't have any project right now in this computer but i have in my main computer so i didn't bring my file to show you guys like i, I didn't pull my file from my main computer to this computer but you guys can see everything it's really really smooth like uh if we you know if you turn on the player uh simulator and you guys can see it's loading and it's pretty fast guys pretty fast um xcode is pretty heavy but you guys can see xcode working perfectly fine uh loading and everything it's not too uh you know it's pretty good um all right so let's just stop xcode and uh let me show you guys imovie so you guys can see iMovie right here. Let's import a video. So I have a video on the desktop, uh, double click. So right now basically uh, importing the video and still importing, it's just took, taken. Oh, uh, so let's just pull this video here. The reason I'm showing you guys iMovie because iMovie is free. Uh, most of the people I know, uh, whoever like use uh, Hack and Tosh, and you know they're like content creator, uh, they just go with iMovie because Final Cut will cost you around 299. So everyone uh, basically go for this free iMovie, and iMovie works perfectly fine. So you guys can see iMovie, uh, you know, it's pretty smooth. Okay, now let's close iMovie. Uh, Let's just jump into uh, DaVinci Res uh, Resolve and you guys can see DaVinci Resolve is loading right now. Now in this video I'm not trying to show you guys a uh, benchmark if you guys want to see like a full benchmark like uh, you know rendering time and everything please give this video thumbs up uh, and make sure you subscribe so I will have a full benchmark video uh, for this uh, budget Ryzen Tosh so you guys can see we have DaVinci open right now and let's open this test clip right here project and uh, you guys can see here we have the uh, test clip open okay and what I like about DaVinci, you could just jump into uh, preference and then go to memory and GPU. And then you can uh, set like a GPU processing mode, like I have set to OpenCL and then uh, GPU uh, selection, you can just set to manual and you guys can see RX 580 uh, compute engine is here with eight gigs of uh, memory. And that's it, you can render videos with uh, your uh, GPU you don't have to you don't have to use iMovie if you don't want because uh, iMovie does support um, Intel QuickSync and Intel QuickSync works really well so what else uh, let me just close uh, DaVinci real quick and let me show you guys uh, Geekbench score. So you guys can see the profile set to uh, Mac Pro 5.1. That's like 2012. But you guys can see a single core score for uh, Geekbench 4 was around uh, 4,191, and the multi-core score was around 12,912. And you can see the system does recognize AMD Ryzen 3 2200G. I don't know if you guys can see clearly. Uh, let's just show you guys uh, what else we have show you guys nova nova bench so nova bench uh i only t uh, ran one test in nova bench so cpu score was around uh 868 and ram score was around uh 228 and gpu score was around 547 and the disk score was really low because i'm using this cheap bi uh, bywin uh, ssd uh, so the write speed was around 226 and the read speed was around 234 so I i'm using this cheap ssd just for testing purpose so that's the reason uh, other than that uh, Cinebench score, let me see, Cinebench uh, open GL score was around 7667. So that's kind of low because when I tested the same graphics card in my 
uh, Intel Z370 I was getting around 140 FPS so I feel like maybe GPU is not running uh, like in a uh, hundred percent so maybe we are getting like 50 percent and i have to see why the gpu uh, acceleration is not all that good uh the cpu multi-core score was around 575 so guys uh close that and the sound is working uh also internet is working so let's just jump into uh youtube so I didn't have to do anything with the internet and let's just go tech tuner life and uh, so you guys can see uh, the tech tuners life uh, YouTube channel right now and then uh, here is a Hackintosh video here uh let me just let me just so you guys can hear the volume does work so i don't know if you guys can hear volume does work the sound works all right so only things not working right now airdrop is not working bluetooth you need a bluetooth like a dongle usb dongle um what else not working so the restart uh shutdown works um uh, everything else works it just it just uh, airdrop doesn't work the bluetooth doesn't work um and i believe uh the iMessage is not working so overall guys the system runs flawlessly okay if you're in a budget and you're planning on building a gaming PC and you want to do boot same time, you know, run like in one drive, you want to run like your uh, Windows uh, 10 and your games and stuff. And the other drive you want to have like Hackintosh running, maybe Mac OS, uh, High Sierra or Mojave, then uh, AMD Ryzen Tosh is a great setup okay for the budget for the price i think for 500 dollars if you can uh build a uh hackintosh like this one i think it's great uh now i didn't try installing mojave in this because uh, i see a lot of posts uh in different different form people having problem with uh installing mojave and not running stable so that's why i didn't try um now i know some of you were asking me other day uh i believe i was uh, i spoke to one of the person in chat uh, in comment section not in chat uh, he was telling me he's planning on building a budget hack and Tosh but he want to stick with Ryzen not Intel because uh, he want to pick up like the Ryzen 1600 as uh, uh, CPU and pick up like a uh, B350 or B450 motherboard <clears throat> and at the same time he was asking because he likes you know using uh, um, iMovie and he still wants to use iMovie I think he uh, he was telling me uh, at this very moment he's using like a sandy bridge uh, build now the difference between using iMovie with Intel platform and the Ryzen the only difference is the quick sync okay uh, if you want to use like a Final Cut or iMovie and if you have like a quick sync uh, enable the video will render faster compared to like uh, AMD processor or even some of the Xeon processor doesn't support Intel QuickSync. Intel QuickSync basically uh, um, mostly is supported by like i7 processor i5 processors uh, so basically how Intel QuickSync work uh, what what processor does like you have to enable that okay so you have to enable the integrated graphics so let's put it this way I believe uh, the processor I have uh, i5 uh, 8400 the 6 core processor comes with uh, UHD 630 graphics um, now uh, I'm not sure if I'm mistaken I'm sorry but I think uh, you know UHD 630 graphics so basically if you're using like um, Final Cut or if you're using like um, let's put this a DaVinci Resolve you can enable uh, Intel uh, UHD uh, 630 graphic combined with your graphics card so let's put this in my computer when i'm rendering videos using like davinci resolve or if i'm you know rendering video with uh, final card so basically what i do i enable the intel quick sync and uh same time i enable uh you know i let you know i 
also select my graphics card in DaVinci you could select I don't know about uh, Final Cut if you can do so and then if you render your video uh, so basically you can render your video faster because you got a uh, hardware acceleration from uh, the Intel uh, uh, UHD uh, 630 graphics and then you also have your graphics card RX 580 like I have so the, obviously your video will render faster uh, I think Adobe does support Intel QuickSync also uh, but I, I didn't test Ad Adobe like that because I don't use Adobe I used to use uh, uh, Sony Vegas uh, is a Vegas Pro that's what I used to use in my Windows platform the only reason I like um, Final Cut or iMovie because of the rendering time saves a lot of time like this video right now I believe around like 15 minutes so uh, imagine how long it will take to render this video now guys if you guys want to see like a detailed benchmark video rendering time or like X Xcode uh, you know Xcode basically uploading time or the player loading time and everything uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you know I can uh, make part two video for you guys and also guys I will have a gaming benchmark for this build uh, maybe in two days or something so stay tuned and uh, that should be it guys see you guys next one